Good morning, folks. Pastor Rocky Branch. Hope you're doing well today. You know, in the Christmas season, of course, now we're in December, the fourth day of December. And as we're facing the Christmas season, there's a lot of challenges that go on. One of those challenges is trying to, I don't want to use the word satisfy, but try to make sure that you make a good impression on people when it comes to gift giving or your holiday spirit, so to speak, or it's, it's not always... Um, it's not always a great time for everybody. And sometimes when all the stress comes together of decorating and shopping and wrapping and, and uh, getting things just right and family and all this sort of stuff, then sometimes the, the, the weight on our shoulders gets so great. And then we begin to find ourselves comparing that you can't do for your family what somebody can do for theirs or you're not going to do for someone because they don't appreciate it or you're just you just don't know how you're going to get it done because you don't have the resources to do it there's just a hundred ways of thinking about this stuff or you're not even concerned about someone else that really needs the love and care and affection that you can provide so this season has a lot of emotions in it I mean it goes a lot of different ways and in the Bible, it tells us so many different things that we can be blessed by if we just stop and, well, just look for just a minute. And one of the things that I want to draw your attention to today is a light switch. You know, when you walk in a room and you turn a light switch on, you fully expect the lights to come on. Now, if the lights don't come on, then obviously you've immediately identified there's a problem because you're in the dark and the light did not uh, give you what you asked for. Well, some of those things, just as simple as that, or turning on the tap and the water coming out, just as simple as those things is just exactly what God wants you and me to be aware of. How much the small things matter. Oh, we look at Christmas, the tree, the decorations, the shopping, the, the traffic, the this, the that, the going in debt, all that sort of stuff, and oh, big mega things, and they are big decisions to make, of course, and we need to be led by God when we do that sort of thing, but this, the small things, God says, let's, let's start with the small things. Let's, let's, let's think about the blessings that we have and how much God has taken care of us. Now, I, I would venture to say that everyone watching this, no matter what your age is or where you are, I would venture to say that you have a choice, basically, on what you wear today, and perhaps you have a couple of pairs of shoes that you can choose between, and there's some choices that you have that, well, you may not even think about the blessing of having them. There's people in the world don't even have a pair of shoes, and certainly very few clothing, if, if any at all. So we, I think in this season, need to stop for a minute and just kind of chill out, kind of just take a breath and say, wow, it's so easy to criticize, it's so easy to complain, it's so easy to uh, become uh, abrupt with other people when we are not getting exactly what we want, like the light switch. I mean, one of the things that's funny, you flip a light switch on and it doesn't come on, you yell for your spouse and say, what's wrong with the light? Well, they don't know what's wrong with the light. You're the one that discovered it. And we find ourselves doing that sometimes. We find ourselves not dealing with the things that we should be thankful for and, and arguing about the things we can't change. Uh, here's God in the Bible, uh, and he comes uh, to announce that Jesus is going to be born in Bethlehem, and he comes to the shepherds. Now, the shepherds were outcast, according to the scripture. The book of Genesis tells us this, that they were an abomination to the Egyptians, and they were Bedouins, and they were not considered highly, uh, you know, desirable by most folks. They lived with the sheep. They walked with the sheep. They, they dealt with the sheep, and, and sheep are obviously, uh, they smell. They, they're they're kind of, you know, they're, they're, they, they pick up all the grass. They chew it down to the root, just all sorts of stuff. So they were not thought highly of. But God sent a host of angels to say to them, there's good news. I, I want to tell you today that no matter what you're facing, and that, no matter how big it is in your mind, no matter what's going on in your, in your life, I want to tell you today there's good news. I, I just want to tell you that Jesus Christ is not coming in Bethlehem's manger. Jesus Christ always has been. He loves you and He cares for you. And according to his word, he desires you to calm down. Just calm down. Don't allow the circumstances to change your position. 
Stay true to God. Everything will work out one way or the other. may not be your way in the end, but God's going to do the best for you if you stay in his will. So don't get frantic. Don't worry so much about this. Don't worry so much about that. Be concerned about it, of course, but don't let that get a hold of you. Make sure that you're doing everything you can to give God the glory for the small things, for just, I mean, just the simple things. And, and here's, here's a wonderful thought. These shepherds, they were so excited that God had not forgotten them that they ran to do something about it. Now, let me ask you today. Do you feel God may have forgotten you? Well, sometimes we do feel that way, but God has not forgotten us. We're reminded of that in Romans 11. God will not forsake his people. He never has. He never will. And God's on the job, I promise you. So just calm down today, and God will work it out. And if you do that, take a deep breath. Let God bless you. He'll bless you for it. God bless you. We love you, and goodbye.